Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw a cute Yorkie named Bobo. So let's get started. With this cute Yorkie, we're going to first start by drawing its eyes. So right here, I'm just going to draw a circle to start. And then I'm just going to go right across about this much and draw another circle. So there, I got my eyes in. So then let's um, make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here and draw two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And so same thing over here, two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So once you have the eyes in, let's come to the center right here towards the bottom a little bit, kind of making this V, um, this V shape and in the center we're going to draw the nose. So right here in the center I'm going to draw a little curve right in the center and then I'm going to connect it with this V. And I'm just going to come in here and shade it in since it's black. I'm just going to give it a little oval highlight at the top and just shade this part in at the bottom. Okay, so then from there we're going to come right down the center right here and just give yourself a point. So we're going to start to draw the mouth. So from this point we're going to bring out a curve. Nice, cute little happy smile. And the same thing on this side. And just cap it off. And then in the center, if you want, you can add a little tongue. So just come here and draw kind of like a U. And then in the center right here, just add a little line. So that's pretty cute already, right? <laughs> so now let's um, bring it all together. So I'm going to come up here where the eye is. I'm just going to add a little line on top of it just to anchor my eyes. And from there, about right here, I'm going to start to draw some curves and zigzags. So this is just to um, make it look like the hair that's on top of her um, the eyes. So I'm going to come up here and just going to go up about this high. And from there, I'm just going to zigzag it all the way across and down. So something like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So about right here. And I'm going to go up and down, up and down, and over. Okay, so then from there, let's come over here on the, where the eye is and we're going to do the same thing. We're, start gonna, we're going to start to draw the hairs that's on the side right here. So where the eye is right here, I'm going to pop out a curve. And then I'm going to come in once again. And then I'm going to come back out. In. Out. So let's come to this side before we get too carried away. So we can kind of make it about the same on each side. So same thing over here. I'm going to draw out a curve, a nice soft curve. Come in and then we're going to bring it out and then in and down. So then let's make it easier. We're going to come towards the center right here and we're going to draw kind of like a V shape for the chin area. So that's just easier for us to gauge. So I'm going to come where the tongue is, say about this low. I'm going to give myself a tiny little point. From there, I'm just going to go up so that I can create this nice center. And then right here, I'm going to start to draw a curve going this way. And then I'm going to go up. And right here, I'm just going to connect it. Okay, so same thing over here. It's going to go this way with this curve. Go up, some zigzags, and connect it. So don't worry too much about how exactly these zigzags are. We just want to have some zigzags and curves all around just to make it look like the hair that's on the Yorkie. So then from there, we're going to come, say, about right here. 
short sword that we drew the curves right here for the hair uh, over the eye and we're going to say just give yourself a little point right here and we're going to draw the outside curves so about right here i'm going to start to draw my curves out so here and there i'm going to come in out and then but right here i'm just going to tuck it back in So same thing on this side. So about right here, just give myself a point and I'm just going to basically just come down once again. And we just want to create this little curve shape that comes in. So that's what you want to concentrate on is creating these curves and then just bring it in, tucking it into here. Okay, so basically got that part in now. Let's come to the center. So we're just going to come to the center, say about this high, right on top of the head, we're going to start to draw the bow. So in the center, about right here, I'm going to draw a curve for the center of the bow and connect it. And I'm coming out with the loops about that long and bring it in all the way back. So it's the same thing over here. And draw the loops and connect it. So then for some details, just come in here. We're going to add a curve towards the bottom to give our bow some dimension. And in the center, just add two little curves. So then for there, let's finish off the hair that's on top of the head. So I'm going to come to where about the where the bow is right here. And I'm just going to start to draw some zigzags here and there just to finish it off. So something like that. So same thing on this side, here and there. Just want to create this round shape for this dog. Okay, so then let's come up here in this little area right here between the bow and we're going to draw the ears. So I'm going to come up here, just draw a curve and bring it down. So same thing on this side, about right here. And I'm just going to bring, drag a point across, say about right here. So I know about how high to bring up my other ear. And I'm just going to eyeball it and bring it about right there for the ears. Okay, and then right on top right here where um, this little bow is uh, <laughs> holding up her little pony the ponytail <laughs> for this dog. Right here, we're going to draw the hair that comes up. So right here, just going to go up and draw some zigzags up and make it nice and poofy and long. And bring it back in. You can add some curves in here. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the face area. Oh, and come in here, almost forgot. We're just going to add a tiny little curve right here just to finish it off. Like that. Okay, now to draw this uh, little Yorkie's body. So we're going to come, say, about right here. We're going to start about right here. I'm just going to, once again, it's just going to be a bunch of zigzags. So I'm going to start about right here for the other side. Let's see, about right there. So this is where we're going to start to draw these little zigzags. I'm going to bring down some more zigzags that's coming down this way right here. So I'm just going to come in here and draw some long ones, some short ones. And about right here, I'll just start to bring it in about this um, long. And then from there, let's imagine her other leg is, the front leg is gonna be about right here. So this is going to be our center. So just to make it easier, let's come to our center about right here. And I'm just gonna kind of sketch in a curve. So this is gonna separate where her um, front legs are. And so then right there, we're just going to bring it in with some zigzags. And so this one is going to go on this way. So very soft and bring it in. So this basically drawing this little V right here in the center just gives you a little bit of separation for the 
to uh, front legs. So then from there, let's draw the little, um, all the hair that's in the front right here. So I'm just gonna come in here and just draw some zigzags once again. Like that. Okay, so then from here, we're going to draw, uh, give a little indication of the back leg, just a little bit. So from here, we're gonna come out and we're heading towards, we're flaring it out a little bit more. And so about right here, I'm gonna add a curve. So it just makes it look like the, a little bit more realistic. So just add this very little curve right here. And then once again, just add a bunch of zigzags at the bottom, nice and soft to finish it off. So there, that's pretty much it for this cute little teacup Yorkie inspired by Jojo Siwa's dog Bobo. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jossa Cute videos. See you later.